right, how we doing? Everybody have a good day today. We're getting ready to uh, head to the weekend. Just one more work day and a week away from Turkey Day. Woohoo! All right, we do have a little bit of info that we go over before we start ripping to make sure everybody's kind of on the same page about a few things. So let's get rolling with that. If I can get us on the right page, that is. My feedback is automated on eBay. Anytime that you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get positive feedback in return. And of course, thank you is the other thing on that page because I do appreciate you being here. Uh, bidding with me, breaking, chatting, hanging out, keeping me company, keeping me updated on the uh, Thursday night football score, you know, that sort of thing. Taking a look at what's coming up in the days ahead. Tomorrow we've got one new release product. It is Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. And hopefully UPS is going to bring it tomorrow, provided that they do. We will be opening a full case of that tomorrow night. Saturday and Sunday are both off nights. We're going to come back on Monday night and open a 10-box case of Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets and a 4-box case of National Treasures Collegiate Football. On Tuesday, we will open a TriStar Autographed Authentic Full-Size Football Helmet. Yeah, that's right. No uh, replica there. And then another case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. So that's what we're looking like over the course of the next five days. As far as shipping goes, here's what you need to know. If you are in the break for the football, the autograph memorabilia, if you hit one of those footballs, they'll be out the door and on the way to you sometime within the next seven days. Sometimes they go towards the beginning, sometimes the middle, sometimes the end, but it wouldn't be later than seven days from today. If you are in the break for the autograph memorabilia and you are not the lucky team that is pulled tonight, you are still entitled to a consolation trading card, which is simply a used trading card, a loose random card from any year, any series. And typically I hold on to that, send it with your next package, just because it is a free shipping break. But if you want it sent sooner, hit me up, send me a message on eBay, let me know, we'll get you squared away. Our paid shipping break tonight, which will also be our second break of the evening, is Donruss Optic. Well, I didn't get that out very well, did I? Donruss Optic Choice Baseball. And it is a half case break. And that will be out the door and on the way to you approximately Monday. And as always, that is plus or minus a day. So if things go well, it could go out a little earlier. Something goes off the rails, could go a day later. As it stands, I think it will be Monday. So first up, our two-box half-case break of 2020 TriStar Autograph Official Footballs. This is a half-case break. It is break number two of this particular product. Everything that we are opening tonight into tonight on eBay, which is Thursday night, the 19th of November. Can you believe we're almost, uh, well, we're most of the way through 2020, which feels like it alone has taken a decade to get through, doesn't it? We have got our team names on one side and the eBay user ID of each winning bidder is across from their team on the opposite side. You can see a few people swinging for the fences tonight. Golf Pro being one of them, he's got a ton of spots in here. And then there's one spot that didn't have any bids, and that was the Rams. So if anything were to come out for the Rams, it would stay here with me simply because, well, it did not find a forever home. One more little piece of business before I can open uh, our footballs. That's me, messing with the focus. Yeah, that's right. It's getting blurry back there in the background, isn't it? And that's on purpose. I don't want you to worry about that. We're going to be able to, to see what we need to see without any problems. That'll just make it a little easier. A little easier to see. All right, so our footballs are the back half of a case. We did the first half of this case, um, I don't know, a week or so ago. Just showing you all the... Everything is still sealed up. That's how TriStar has these sealed. It is clear tape covered by some kind of red tape. Huh, red tape. Yeah, I just heard that. But, <laughs> but anyway, that is what it is. So, you know, for what it's worth. Ooh, I found the seam that time. I'm so excited by that. And, oh, man, they had the info card right under the edge. So it might have gotten a, a little bit of of a uh, utility knife on it. I hope not, but it's possible. Jay Allen is here. Hi, Jay Allen. And Chatterlack09 is here, too. This tells us we have an Emmett Smith. Well, how about that, Dallas Cowboys? 
I should mention this goes for the team they played for the longest if they are retired players and of course if they are current active players it goes to their current team. Somehow they always manage to put these in here in a way where you cannot spin it around to see the autograph. So we're just going to have to do this the hard way, which is not, I still can't figure, oh, they've got the box taped, good grief. <laughs> like, why can't they just put the signature where we can see it? Now we can see it. I'll get the box closed back up better in a minute. That's probably the correct way to look at it after all that. Good grief. So, it is an Emmett Smith football for the Cowboys is our first one out after uh, a few minutes there of uh, sit and spin in the box. So, good times. Now, let's look at the second one. Clint is here. Hi, Clint. You must have the Cowboys because he says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you. I already cut the one side. And of course, you saw me cut it, but I meant to show you all, all the sides and edges before I actually started cutting on the tape. And Jay Allen needed a panther in here, so we'll have to hope we've got a panther for you in here, Jay Allen, since that last one was a cowboy. And of course, they're not going to have the autograph facing upwards again. <laughs> You know they take them out to have them signed. They know they're how they're going to package them to send them out. Why in the world wouldn't you just put the autograph up? And I'm not going to be able to get that knot out of there either. So, bye-bye plastic bag. And what have we here? There we go. That is Larry Little. At least we could get that one turned around. And you can see there's his Hall of Fame inscription on there again. It's an NFL certified. There's our TriStar Hologram certification sticker on it. And um, I better check out Larry Little just to make sure where he goes. Because I don't want to get that wrong. Like, whew, I'm not 100% sure where he goes. I mean, I would think the Dolphins... But sometimes these guys play for different teams that I don't remember, and I don't want to tell you wrong. So since he's a retired guy, it is going to be the team he played for the longest, and I'm pulling that up right now, if you'll hang tight. Yeah, it was the Dolphins. He only had a couple of years somewhere else, and uh, everything else uh, had a couple of years with the Chargers, looks like, and every everything else was with Miami. So the Dolphins... And Larry Little with one of our footballs. And the other one was the Cowboys and Emmett Smith. So those are our two autographed footballs. Clint, yes, I will put it back in something to make sure it's protected. Or I'll tape back up the bag that I took it out of or something. Clint says, well, it's better protected if it's in the plastic. I know, man, but I couldn't get that knot out of there. And we needed to see what the signature was. So... So we'll get it uh, we'll get it squared away to get it back out the door safely to to you if that's headed your way. Let me set the footballs all the way and then we'll get underway with baseball. And this baseball is actually a product I've had for a good long while, which. Um, I honestly didn't even realize I had. I I know. <laughs> it got shuffled back behind some other stuff. And recently when I was kind of trying to sort through and see what we had, I found it. How about that? <clears throat> so once again, here's the deal. If you hit one of those two footballs, it will ship to you sometime between now and next Thursday. And if you didn't hit one, consolation card typically sent with your next package since it's a free shipping break. If you want it sent sooner, hit me up on eBay messages and I'll take care of it for you. Paid shipping break, which we're about to start, is our Donruss Optic Choice. We're going to be uh, thinking Monday on that one to have it out the door and on the way to you. Plus or minus a day always, and that means I could get it out a day faster, which would mean Saturday, or it could go a day later, Tuesday, but right now Monday is my best guess. And I think everybody will hit cards in this break. I'm not expecting to need consolation cards here. So this is a 10-box half-case break. 
of Donruss Optic Choice Baseball. This is break number one because yeah, I just found the case. Ah. <laughs> we broke some regular optic, but not choice earlier in the year. This, uh, of course, ended on eBay tonight, same night we're breaking it, which is Thursday night, the 19th of November. Once again, we've got our team names on one side, Wayne Bitter's uh, user ID up in lights cross from their team there on the opposite side. I did have one unpaid team, which that just occurred to me. So let me take a little peek and see if that got paid in the meantime or if we're going to have to try to find a new home for it. So let's let's see what our let's see what our sitch is here. Oh, it looks like it did get paid. Yay. Yay. It's been a it has not been a what I call a stellar day today, so that made my day a little better. Okay, so guys, here's the deal. Somebody's going to have to help me determine which tin we open, but I have to see how this case is oriented first to know if we're looking at top layer, bottom layer, or right side, left side, or whatever. I don't know, so we're going to find out. See, I missed the seam on that, too. Looks like we're left, right in there. Okay, so let's get it set up. All right, here's what I need you to do. I need three people to get into chat and... Um, say the left side of the case or the right side of the case and whoever the majority is out of the first three responses that I see that's the side will open either left or right oh Clint says no they turn the autograph to protect it he wasn't talking about the plastic bag gotcha well maybe but like it's already usually not the last one but the normally the football itself is what is wrapped in plastic in there which would protect it anyway so it seems weird but anyway so I've got two responses here. Jay Allen said the right, and uh, Robert said the left. Here comes one more, and that's Fall77 says the left. All right, so that gives us our clear majority, our two out of three. So let's get them out of that left-hand side here. And now there are three autographs per box in choice, I do believe. So that's going to give us... 30 autographs, which, uh, hey, I think it's pretty good ROI there, pretty pretty decent return on investment, and of course, I'm sure we'll find a few other little things in here along the way, too. So, yeah, this is what it tells us. Three exclusive autographs per box on average. Well, we all know what on average really means. It means occasionally Panini messes up, then they don't give us what they're supposed to give us. When that happens... That little on average, well, that's CYA for them. What it also can mean is that it might replace one or more of our hits with Panini Rewards Points cards. That happens sometimes, too. And if that happens to us tonight, we will use random.org at the end of the break to get that sorted out. So, we're just going to get a few of these cut open and uh, setting out. Maybe we'll just take them all out, we think. Let's just take them all out. And we'll have all of our packs out and ready, and then we'll only have to delay our gratification one time, since this is a one-pack per box kind of thing. Jay Allen, you need the fillies, huh? All right, filly, filly. A little filly special. I will do my best to find some Philadelphia for you. So I saw some uh, some order forms come up this week, and it looks like they are really going to be pouring it on in the last uh, couple of weeks of the calendar year. You know, surprisingly, November is usually a pretty busy month for releases. It's been relatively quiet in November. Everybody's still, of course, their schedules are still off, Panini and tops both from where they were shut down early in the year from the pandemic but they are contractually obligated to put out a certain number of products per year and um yeah they're gonna really be pouring it on like about the last two weeks of december is how it looks <laughs> including some a, a new baseball product, no, basketball product <clears throat> that only has 10 autographs in it. It's called Eminence. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be around uh, $15,000, $16,000, I think. 
I don't know. It's going to be expensive. So that's crazy. But all the cards in it, I think, are numbered to 10 or less, and they're all encased and a bunch of other hoopla. I didn't really have time to read through the whole thing. but So that's a new product we're going to be seeing that they just announced not too long ago. And Tops has already got us doing pre-orders into the middle of next year. And by the way, they've raised most of their prices by 50%, some of them more than 50%, Tops has. Dylan Cease is the first thing we see. This is a rated rookie. It's obviously a prism, but it is not numbered. So a lot of that stuff will probably sleeve after the break, but a little bit of it uh, will sleeve now, but mostly it'll be afterwards. And again, a prism. That's Kevin Newman for the Pirates. We're getting ready to find our autographs. Looks like they're going to be in the middle of each pack. I see Hernandez for the Texas Rangers has come out first on a rated rookie number 299. Danny Mendick is out next. It's also numbered to 99. That's going to the White Sox. And as you might have remember and have come to expect, there's a slight bit of curvature with these cards, as is the general case when they have the fancy little coating on them. Jake Rogers to 99, and that one is headed to Detroit and the Tigers. Now we've got a rated rookie Fraley. It is numbered to 88. Lucky number 88, if you will. And here's a Charlie Blackman. It's numbered to 45. And uh, that, of course, is going to the Rockies. And I don't know, did I say where Jake Fraley's going? He's a Mariner. I don't know if I said it or not. Michael King, it's numbered to 84. So a little love for New York. And here's more for Seattle. This one is Justin Dunn. It's numbered to 84. And then J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox comes out numbered also to 84. So lots of numbered parallels in here. And, of course, our three autographs for box. J. Allen says he's still working on the Optic Rainbow and he needs the green to five in here and then orange and red as well. Okay, man, I'll do my best. I've got an Acuna for Atlanta, number to 45. A Diamond Kings insert with Cruz on it. And that's going to Minnesota, number to 45. My sleeves are trying to roll around everywhere over there. They're taking off a life of their own. Rafael Devers, 88 Red Sox. Yachty Molina, St. Louis, 88, and Dustin May for your World Series winners, Los Angeles, number 284. And then there's a Dustin May rated rookie base prism. I presume we're going to find one of those per box. They seem to be structured the same way. And look at that. That's exactly who our loose random prism was in the last box. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, it was. It was Kevin Newman both times. How strange. Donnie Walton. Here come the Mariners again. And uh, that was numbered to 99. Jake Rogers, the Tigers, to 99. I see a Cubby on deck. And that's Alzalay for Chicago. Also to 99. All right, we're going to do the same thing and just kind of pull the numbered ones up to the front. Mr. Aristides Aquino for my little Cincinnati Reds. It's numbered to 45. We've got uh, Bumgarner here, numbered to 45 for the Diamondbacks. Next up, there's another Mariner. It's numbered to 88, Gonzalez. Here comes one for New York. It's Glaber Torres, the 84, headed to the Yankees. And here's Alzale again, the Cubs, numbered to 88. And this time we got somebody different, VR, for the Miami Marlins. And our rated rookie headed again to the Dodgers. But this time it's Gavin Lux. So there's that. And uh, hang on one hot second here. Something's... Something's popping up over here, and I, like, don't want it to start doing something. So, hang on. Hang on one second. Trying to get it to stop stop doing what it's doing on my iPad. 
Number to 99, the Padres with Balanos. And Daza for the Colorado Rockies. That is numbered to 99. Oh, Yankees. Hot dog. This is who you want if you've got the Yankees. Number to 49. There's your Dominguez. It's a very nice hit for New York. you got to like that, I think. That is good stuff. All right. Onward and upward. So the Yankees doing all right so far tonight. They can't uh, can't complain too much at the moment, especially with that Dominguez. The Astros are on board now with a Jordan Alvarez number two forty five, and man, we're seeing a lot of Kevin Newman tonight. At least he's numbered here. That is two forty five Pirates. If I didn't say that, Cattell Marte eighty four Diamondbacks. Mister Tatis. For San Diego, that one is numbered to 88. Matt Face for the Angels, numbered to 84. Chris Sale comes out there for the Red Sox with just our base prism and our rated rookie prism from this box headed to the White Sox. It's Zach Collins. Here come the autographs. Mariners are killing it tonight. It's another Mariner, Jake Fraley. It is numbered to 99. Followed by a giant, Jalen Davis. It's numbered to 99 as well. Headed up to San Francisco. Nice hit on board for Los Angeles. Numbered to 99. There's Gavin Lux. So the Dodgers doing fairly well tonight too. I like this product. I wonder why I didn't order more of it originally. <laughs> I just found the one case. Maybe that's all I, I don't know why. Maybe that's all they gave me or maybe that's all I ordered. I don't know. Number to 45, Walker Bueller, Dodgers. Mr. Biggio is out for Toronto. Number 245. Got one for the Natties. Strasburg, number to 88. Behind that is another Dodger, greater all to 84. And here's Acuna again on a Diamond Kings insert, and it is numbered to 88. Tatis is our base prism. And Danny Mendick for the White Sox is our rated rookie prism. Autographs, we're changing it up a little. Headed to Miami with a nice one for the Marlins. J.J. Blade numbered to 99 for Miami. Woohoo! Grillon, here's one for you, Jay Allen, numbered to 99. I know you've hit him before uh, because I know we've had debates about how to pronounce his name, but at least we got you rolling. We got you started with Phillies anyway. Oh, this is nice for San Francisco. Joey Bart, numbered to 99. It's an excellent hit for the Giants. With the run catcher. Alex says, optic first off the line is nice too. Yeah, you know what? I used to buy and break a lot of first off the line stuff. And lately, they've switched it all to that Dutch auction format. And I haven't gotten anything in a long time. Sometimes I go to buy it, and right as I'm trying to check out, it goes out of stock. Sometimes I forget while I'm watching it. <laughs> I get busy, and I forget to go back to it, and it sells out. It's numbered to 84, Jalen Davis for the Giants. And other times, the price is so absolutely outrageous that I don't think it's feasible to try and break it. So it's, it's, I haven't had much of it most of this year. This is Joe Palumbo, number to 45 for the Texas Rangers. But before that, we actually used to break first off the line stuff fairly often. Eugenio Suarez to 88 for the Cincinnati Reds. Here is J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox. It's numbered to 88. And then I've got Trent Grisham for the Padres, numbered to 84. Chris Bryant for the Cubs with a base prism. And there's a Diamond Kings base prism. Yelich for the Brewers. It's not numbered either, but I thought it might be. But it wasn't. 
Edwin Rios, that's numbered to 99, headed to the Dodgers. And another one for the Mariners. It's Justin Dunn to 99 for Seattle. Good hit for Tampa Bay. Yeah, Brendan McKay, numbered to 99. So we're seeing some nice names in here. Uh, we do need to maybe see a little variation in our teams, though, don't we? Got a lot coming out for a lot of repeat teams in here anyway. Which, if you've got those teams, you're really happy. If you don't, eh, not so much. To 84, Detroit, Jake Rogers. There's another Joe Palumbo for the Rangers, numbered to 45. This is Tatis for San Diego. It is numbered to 84. I've got a little Mitch Hanager. It is numbered to 84. And Josh Donaldson out, numbered to 84 for the Minnesota Twins. So Freddie Freeman, that's our base prism. And behind it, this time we've got another prism, Diamond Kings insert, Javi Baez for the Cubbies. Hey, Jay Allen, have they switched you over to managed payments yet, out of curiosity? Um, I'm asking this because they hit me again today with another one of those messages out of the blue where they said, oh, yeah, we're not going to send you your payouts for about a week. Your payouts are on hold. And they never tell you, as you know from the last time, what the reason is, why they do it. The last time somebody finally told me, oh, they only do it once a year. And it's right because you started managed payments right then. Well, wrong. This is now the second time they've held my money for a week or more. Um, and I've only been in managed payments for like 45 days. <laughs> There's Matt Face for the Angels. It is numbered to 99. So I was just curious, J. Allen, if you have had that problem. Uh, or not. Miguel Amaya, this is numbered to 99 for the Cubbies, or Amaya, maybe. Bobby Witt Jr., solid hit for Kansas City, numbered to 99. Good one for the Royals. Yeah, Jay Allen remembers when we used to have a bunch of first off the line. Uh oh, hang on, let me silence this phone. That's a spam call, too. Spam callers now calling at 9.30 at night. <laughs> On the cell phone, no less. They just call you night and day anymore, don't they? It is insanity. Hernandez for the Rangers, numbered to 45. I've got a little Senzel for my Cincinnati Reds, numbered to 45. Biggio for the Blue Jays. It is numbered to 88. Hilliard. And the Rockies to 88. And yet another Kevin Newman for Pittsburgh. And it was numbered to 88. Diamond Kings parallel Eugenio Suarez, Cincinnati Reds. And then our other base prism is Tanaka. Let's take a look at our hits. Diamondbacks to 99. It is Rojas. We've got a redemption, and you know the drill with that. It's going to stay right up there in housekeeping, face down. We'll flip it right at the end of the break and check it out. Nico Cornerer, Cubbies to 99. Josh says, you don't think you've seen a single A, despite the A's having the second most numbered cards. You know what? The Oakland A's normally come out of every product for 2020 in, let's just say, abundance. <laughs> but you're right. I don't really remember seeing Oakland tonight. That's not to say they're not in there, but off the top of my head, I don't remember it, which you're right. That is unusual. Uh, out of 2020 products, they typically have been dominating them. Mike Trout to 45 for the Angels. Here's another one for the Braves. Mike Swarka on this one, number 245. A Trent Grisham for the Padres to 84. Juan Soto for the Nationals. And it is going to be numbered to 84. Here comes Pujols for the Angels. He is numbered to 88. We have got a Pete Alonso, Diamond Kings. Prism Parallel, our other base prism is Johnny Cueto for San Francisco. 
Getting into autographs, I've got a Danny Mendick, number 299, the White Sox. TJ Zooch, Zooch, something like that. It's uh, number 299. It goes to Toronto and the Blue Jays. And then another Mariner, number 299. This is Donnie Walton for Seattle. So here we are rolling into our last box. So we are looking for some last box mojo here. And uh, for those of you like the A's who may be right now working at a deficit, let's see if we can't find something in here for those of you who are still waiting to see your first your first card. For the blue or uh, yeah, for the blue jays, number to 88, there's TJ again. Rico Garcia for the Giants, that one to 45. The Rockies and Nolan Arenado, and it is numbered to 88. Moncada for the White Sox, it's numbered to 88. Got Dylan Cease, it's the White Sox, that one is numbered to 88. Followed by a Mitch Hanager. And that's our base prism going to Seattle and the Mariners. And then we've got another prism rated rookie that's going to the Padres with Bolanos. Our last three autographs are in line here. Michael Baez for the Padres. It is number 299. And then I've got an Aaron Savali, numbered to 99 for the Indians. Followed by Forrest Whitley for the Astros to 99. Now we do have a redemption to flip over, which we're going to do here in a moment and find out who's on the other side of it and then go to the Panini website and take a little peek and find out what else we need to know about it. But first, let me tell you this. I anticipated that everybody in here would pull some kind of card, but as it turns out, we might have a team or two that didn't, notably the Oakland A's. I'm not sure they did. So here's your situ here's the situation. If you did not get a card tonight of any sort in here, I will still send you a package. It will go out when the rest of the break ships, and it will have consolation card or cards in it. So that's how that's going to work. Flipping around here, it is another one for the Padres. That is Morahone. And it is a rated rookie signature red mojo. So one would think that'll be reasonably numbered anyway. You should have, I would think, some kind of numbering happening there with that. So let's go roll over here to the Panini website, take a little peek, and find out what they, what they want to tell us about it. So rated rookie signature red mojo is what we're looking for. Rated rookies. I uh, signatures. Where are you, Red Mojo? There we go. Card number 34 is Morahone. A little too far, didn't I? Where are you, buddy? There we are. Going to be numbered to 99. All right. The big 99 nine for the Padres. So, yeah, if we do this again, I will obviously have got the back half of this case which will either break as the back half of this case or I'll sell it out and then start us on a new case. So the next time we start a case, we'll probably break the full case. Now, I don't have another case here, so I say the next time we do it. But if I can find another case somewhere, that's what I'm inclined to do. Um, something like that. So we may still break the other half, the other loose 10 of this, or... I do have somebody who's interested in buying them. I might just sell them out to them and buy us a brand new case and break it by the full case. Because this didn't take very long to break. And I think it might be more fun to break it by the full case now that I kind of know exactly what it is and I've gotten a look at it. And also it might eliminate that problem of some teams blanking. So, but again, if you hit nothing, I am still going to send you something. You are still going to get cards in the mail, and it will still ship out. When the rest of the break goes out, you'll get some consolation in the mail, okay? So you're not going to walk empty-handed anyway. There's Forrest Whitley, numbered to 99, the Houston Astros, Savali to 99, the Indians. 
Baez, Padres, 99. Walton, Mariners, 99. Zoich, Blue Jays, 99. Mendick, White Sox, 99. Hornerer, Cubbies, 99. Rojas to 99. The Diamondbacks, Bobby Witt Jr., the Royals to 99. Amaya, 99 for uh, the Cubs. Face, the Angels to 99. The Rays to 99 with McKay. Justin Dunn to 99 for the Mariners. Next little stack, we've got the redemption here that is Morahone. Padres, numbered to 99 according to the Panini website. Rios and the Dodgers, 99. Joey Bart and the Giants, 99. Grion, 99. Phillies. Blade, Marlins, 99. Gavin Lux, these are all the 99 for the Dodgers, so let's just assume they're all the 99. There's <laughs> Jalen Davis for the Giants. Jake Fraley for the Mariners. Dominguez, right as I say, they're all the 99. Here's one to 49. <laughs> That's the New York Yankees. So if I don't read off the number, it's to 99. If I read it off, it's different, obviously. Daza for the Colorado Rockies, the Padres, and Bolanos. Alzale for, I almost said the 99, and then I said it explaining it. Good job. That's the Cubs. <laughs> Jake Rogers. And Detroit, habits are hard to break, man. Donnie Walton and the Mariners. Another Jake Rogers for Detroit. Mendick, Dick, Mendick, I'll get it out in a minute, for the White Sox. And Hernandez for the Rangers. So that's what we look like in our half case of Optic Choice. So if I do decide that we're going to break the back half, we'll probably do it sometime within the next seven or eight days. And if I decide to sell it to the person who wants it and try to buy us a brand new sealed case, we probably wouldn't have the sealed case for about, mm, I don't know, seven or ten days we would have it listed. So one or the other will happen. And yeah, so let me also get our spreadsheet information up here one more time. If you missed it earlier, I'm going to give you another chance here in a hot second to take a look at what is breaking in the days ahead. And we're also going to take one more pass at what is coming up in the days ahead, what breaks we're gonna be working on over the course of the next few days. So tomorrow night, we do have one new release. It's Leaf Draft Baseball. We're gonna be breaking a full case of that provided UPS shows up with it. Saturday and Sunday, both off nights. We'll come into Monday and open a 10-box case of Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets, followed by a 4-box full case of National Treasures Collegiate Football. On Tuesday, a TriStar Authentic Full-Size Autograph Football Helmet, and another 12-box case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. So that gives you the deal on that. And then finally, we'll go over our, if I can click on the right tab, <laughs> we're going to go over our shipping information one more time. Can you tell I've had a day? I bet you can. So uh, once again, if you hit one of the two footballs tonight, you can expect that it will ship to you sometime between now and this time next week. If you were not the lucky person to hit one of the two footballs tonight, you are still entitled to a consolation trading card. That's simply a loose used single trading card. Can be from any year, any series. Typically held to ship with your next package because it is a free shipping break. But if you want it sent sooner, you only need to send me a message on eBay letting me know that. And I will gladly get it taken care of for you. Our paid shipping break is the optic choice that we just finished up. That should be out the door and on the way to you approximately Monday. As always, plus or minus a day. So could possibly go out Saturday, could possibly go out Tuesday. My best guess is Monday. My best estimate, I should say, is Monday. And if you did not pull a single card in our Optic Choice break, you will still get a package in the mail. It'll have consolation card or cards in it, and it will ship out when the rest of the break goes out, since technically that would be your next package. So that is how that works. And... Um, Goodness gracious says, was the football break done yet? Oh, yeah, that was done right when we started. So, yep, 
Yeah, yep, that one is all finished up. Goodness gracious. Sorry about that. And I guess that is it for me tonight. So thank you everyone for being here. I appreciate it very much. I hope that uh, you have a good weekend ahead. If I don't see you again tomorrow night, I hope you will come back and see me soon. In the meantime, stay safe and happy and healthy. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye now.